Hello and welcome to Channel's Book Club. Happy Independence Celebration once again. Nigeria undoubtedly has tremendous challenges, but this period is a time to remind ourselves and everyone that Nigeria is an immensely blessed country. It's a time to renew our hopes while we are honest about the many problems of the country. It's also a good time to learn Nigeria's history. People often ask, which book can I read about Nigeria's history? Well, there are many to recommend, and perhaps we'll do that in the coming ex episodes. But for now, here is one of the most popular and often quoted books on Nigeria's past. It's titled, A History of Nigeria, written by Tony Falola and Matthew Heaton. Many have described it as an impressive book that provides a rare insight into the broad themes that define Nigeria. The book offers a portrayal of Nigerians as a resilient people living in a country with great but untapped potential. It also explains Nigeria's recent troubles by exploring its colonial and pre-colonial past. It was published in 2008. It's easy to find. Just do a simple search online. Find it, read it, and let's know what you think. Now, let's dive fully into the show today. You might have noticed that we have recently focused on the National Library of Nigeria. Well, the reason for that is not far-fetched. A national library of any country is meant to be an important intellectual monument. In other words, it should, in many ways, represent how much a country values knowledge, information, learning, culture, history, and the written word. The national library of every country is often symbolized by a building that sums up the country's value for one of its core intellectual monuments. So, where is Nigeria's National Library Headquarters building? and what's happening to it. The National Library of Nigeria is a parastatal under the Federal Ministry of Education established by Act No. 29 of 1970. It is meant to hold documents of national importance, literary works of all types, catalogs, tapes, films, videos and discs which should be made easily available to the nation. Behind me here is what should be the headquarters building of the National Library of Nigeria. As you can see, it is uncompleted. It's a project that was perceived in the 1980s and then started in 2006, but it's still ongoing. From an architectural angle, the National Library of Nigeria headquarters seems to be an impressive design that should make for a worthy intellectual monument for any country. Wilson Odumbaku is the head of physical planning at the National Library of Nigeria. Together with Vershimo Oveldio, the head of PRO division of the National Library of Nigeria, he explains aspects of the structure. This is the carcass the, the, the of the, the National Library building. And if you look at this panel, uh, it's spanned between second floor to the sixth floor. We have one, two, three, four, five. This is five floors. Yeah. And it, this is the, where the stacks are. Stacks. That's yes. where you keep the books. This is where this is where the book are kept. You know. And we have four of this panel. Okay. So it's not it's not a building of now. Okay, so this is one panel. This is a panel on its own. So if you, you look have, at this, that's end, another one. You have another one. And at the two at the other end, we have another two. So we are talking about so space for millions. Of this books. is for millions of books. The volumes of books. It is not a building of now. It's a building for the future. Is a beauty for next generation. So as many works of uh, intellectual capacity have been torn out by Nigerians, there is a safe place to keep them. Uh, and the, the, the way these uh, stacks are designed, the, it's an environment that is controlled in terms of humidity and temperature. So it's not a play, the, the design is, has taken into consideration that books are to be kept for future, uh, future generation. And that's years after years and after years. And those things that easily destroy books are temperature and humidity. So it, 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 it requires a controlled atmosphere. And here as it is, you can see it's a solid wall. And inside there are some materials that are also going to be used. Apart from the, the cooling system that will go into there, the materials to be used also is going to heat the, 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 the book uh, uh, preservation. 
1981, the National Library Board commissioned a consultant to provide the overall architectural and planning design of the National Library Headquarters building. That's 36 years ago. However, the project only kicked off in 2006 with a budget of about 8.6 billion naira and a completion timeline of 22 months. Wilson Odun Baku, while taking us through the architectural design of the building, explains. 2006, the project was given out at 8.6, okay, and it's for 22 months, okay. As at 2008, when that 22 months expired, the contractor requested for extension of time, basically for them to be able to have justification, continue on the project, and also probably to have a, 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 a legal grant to ask for extra. So, but as at that time, the, that, that could not mature until two years after. The negotiation for extension of time and revised estimated cost of that project, shifting ground from 8.6 uh, in 2006, and as at 2010, it was the augmentation was approved by Federal Executive Council uh, to 17.5 billion. Okay. Yes, that's the, that's the position. Wow, that's like um, that's two years after. Two years after, that's 2010. 2010. 2010. Uh, that's they, they four years after. Four years after. 17 billion. The, 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 the request for reverse estimated cost was uh, in 2008, and that negotiation spanned between two 2008 years. to 2010. 